Welcome to section 2, where we're going to be adding actions to our game. In this section, we're going to take a look at how to move an SK sprite node using the touch moved function. We're going to run SK action on the sprite to move it from point A to point B. We're going to run sequence of actions to run multiple actions one after the other. We're going to create sprites periodically using a timer. And finally, we're going to learn how to randomize the horizontal position when creating new sprites. Move SK sprite node to touch location. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to detect a touch location on the screen. And we're going to learn how to use the touch moved function to move a sprite to a new location. Let's head over to ESCO to learn how to use this function. This is where we stopped last time. What we want to implement is a function called touch moved that will allow us to detect the current location on the screen where we touched and to move our object to that location. So what you want to do is outside the did move function, you want to call a new function called touch moved, tells the responder when one or more touches associated with an event changed. Select this function and inside this function, let me get more space at the bottom here. Inside this function, you can see that it passes to us an array of set of touches so you have an array which is a set of ui touch so we want to get the first of the array so what we do is we say let touch equals to touches dot first so we can get the first one of the collection and then once we have the uh, one of the touches which is the first touch in the collection we can get a location inside of this view then we can say let location equals to touch dot location you can see that it returns a location in sk node and we know that our scene is a, is an sk node we already looked at that in the past so here it says returns the current location of the receiver in the coordinate system of the given node so if we select this and then we pass in self because our scene is an sk node so we pass in self so it's going to return the coordinate system of the location that was touched but this location is an optional, so we need to unwrap it. So we have to say if let, and then we have to then use it inside the if let statement. We can then, what we're trying to achieve, let me bring the, let me bring up the simulator so that you can see what we're trying to achieve. What we're trying to achieve is, right now the cat is stuck in this location. We don't want to change the Y value, because remember every time we change the Y value, increase or decrease it, it moves up or down. So what we want to do is change only the x value. So if I touch a new location, I want to move the x value of the cat to that location. If I touch here, I want to move the x value of the cat to the new x value of the location. So what we do is say cat node dot position dot x. So we want to change only the x position equals to location dot x. So that means we'll move the cat node position x value to the location x so let's see how that works so now you can see that every time i click on a new location the x value of the cat changes i can also drag the cat so you can see that i can drag it because the touch is moving on the screen and every time i move my torch the cat is moving along because the x value of the cat changes so this is how you use the touch move function to change the x or y position of your sk sprite node in this video we've learned how to detect the touch location on a scene we've learned how to use the touch moved function to move a sprite to a new location 